just had breakfast, made a liquid IV. Very important to stay hydrated. All right, you guys, game day outfits are very important here at UJ. Not actually, but to me they are. <laughs> Our colors are red, black, and white. So I've already pre-planned an outfit because I'm crazy. Um, I'm just gonna lay it out. So here is the skirt. I'm into midi skirts right now. I'll link it down below. It's from ASOS and it's got a little slit, which is really cute. It's red with these like black splotches on them. I'm not really sure how to define them. And then I'm deciding between these two tops. I have this shirt, which is by Commando. It's so cool. It's by the same company that makes my um, faux leather leggings that I always wear. Like I'm pretty sure it's legit the same material that they made into a crop top, which is so cute. Or I love this top from Revolve. I'll also link it below. It's got this huge tie, kind of a halter situation cinches i thought that could also be really cute so updates to come but we have you guys who pulled in the big guns aka my ring light into the bathroom because my lighting in my bathroom is terrible and this is just a very important video we're gonna be doing a get ready with me for a college game day today is our spring football game we call it g day we literally play each other we don't even play another team it's like i think it's two practice teams against each other um, I know other colleges do this, like Auburn has A Day and stuff like that. It's really fun. It's basically just one more excuse um, for me to wear a game day outfit. I realize this is my last chance to do a little college get ready with me, um, or game day get ready with me. Going to my favorite restaurant to get some food, maybe a drink, and I'm just so excited because it's just... I'm really sad, but I'm just not gonna think about it. So we're just gonna do a full on get ready with me. Hope you guys enjoy. If you like this, subscribe down below. Lots of new videos to come. So first off, I want to get my hair just a little bit more dry, and then we're gonna do my makeup, and then we're gonna actually style my hair. Pretty much only use the Dyson Airwrap at this point. This is what I will be using later on to curl my hair to kind of get that blowout look. But first, we're gonna use this attachment, which is just like the brush attachment. And we're gonna spray a little heat protectant. I will have all the products I use linked down below. I'm using the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. Um, it's just a heat protector. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of run this through my hair to get it a little bit drier before I do my makeup. All right, so my hair is a little bit more dry now. It's not perfect, but I wanna get started on my makeup and this can just air dry more. But first we're gonna do my signature hair roller moment. Um, I just used one of these dry bar hair rollers. Um, I'll link it down below, it comes in a set. I love this. You need like bobby pins or a clip like this or something to secure it. Um, they should definitely just put those in the pocket. But basically, I like my front pieces to be very voluptuous, look like I left the dry bar. Um, so, oh my god, my hair is so soft. <laughs> I haven't washed my hair in a week, you guys, no joke. So, I'm going to blow dry this, bring it up, and then roll it with the roller. So, it kind of, and then I'll keep that there while I do my makeup. You guys can see that, I have no idea if you can. And then it also keeps my hair out of my face while I do my makeup. It's time for makeup. As you guys saw, I already used my Sunday Riley CEO Glow Serum. I put that on right after I showered. I've got my makeup bag. I need to like go through my makeup bag. I feel like I only use even like half the products in this. Do you guys feel the same way? Like I need to look up what products I actually use every day. First up, we got a prime. We're using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I ran out of my um, Dr. Brandt Pores No More, so that's the main reason. Honestly, we're using this, but this one's very moisturizing um, and very glowy for spring and summer, I suppose. For foundation today, we're going to use this Hourglass Vanish um, foundation stick. I love this. This is probably my fourth one now. I got it last summer, and I haven't gone back. It's so creamy, so glowy. Never thought in a million years I'd be a fan of like a stick foundation. But it's super blendable, super easy. So I just do like three lines on either side, a little forehead, nose, nothing crazy. And then we just take a blending brush and we go to town. This is a Sephora 64 foundation brush. Love this. I also did get a spray tan, so this is my spray tan shade. <laughs> See how blendable that was? I love it. For under eye concealer, I'm using my tried and true Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I guess I'm kind of almost done. This is definitely like my 30th one. And I just do a little triangle situation. 
I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelids as well. Hydration break. We're gonna set with some powder. I use the Physician's Formula powder. And I try not to put it on my cheekbones exactly because I want like a natural little highlight, even though we are gonna use highlighter. But definitely the T-zone, the forehead. Just so it doesn't slide around, as they say. <laughs> I've been into using my Hoola bronzer lately. It's very contouring and I literally use the brush that it comes with actually and I'll like tap it in and then I'll blend out from there. Just creates that like natural shadow and I do a little bit on the sides of my nose for a little contour. Then using my Becca BFFs palette, I'm using this little fan brush. It's a highlight brush from Sephora, number 87. And I'm using the highlight um, from the palette, any Becca highlighters are amazing. And I put a little bit on my nose as well and on my Cupid's bow, glowy, glowy season. And then I'm gonna use this blush from the palette, the lighter one, cause it's daytime. Smile to find the apples of your cheeks. <laughs> put a little on my nose for a sun-kissed moment. I keep saying moment and I need to stop. I know I say moment and I say vibes, and it's just a habit at this point. I need to break it. I'm gonna do my brows. I use the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow. Um, it's great. It's got, I think it has something to like help grow your brows. Next up, we're gonna do some eyeshadow. I've been loving this Pretty Basic Times Tarte Makeup Eyeshadow Palette. These are my friends, Remy and Alicia. They came out with their own palette. Pretty Basic is their podcast name. So I'm gonna use the color Daisy. Right here. I'm just putting this color all over my lids and I kind of used that um, under eye concealer earlier as like a primer. I probably should use a regular eyeshadow primer but I just don't have my life that together you know. I love this uh, Sephora number 14 pro shadow brush. I'm gonna use the color basic it's just this dark brown and apply that to my crease. Wow, I feel like I'm filming a makeup tutorial. This is not a tutorial, this is me showing you what I do. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a brush without eyeshadow on it, a little blender brush, and blend out. And then I'm gonna take this Bare Minerals, I think it's called Latte Palette. Yeah, the Gen Nude Latte Palette, I love it. It's a little bit smaller. It has this beautiful bronzy color that I wanna put on my lids. Just a little bit. Look how pretty. Normally I'd wear mascara with this eyeshadow, but I literally just got my lashes lifted and tinted two days ago And I just need to kind of brush them out and brush them up and I'm happy with it I'd rather not wear mascara because it sweats off and um, I don't want to put mascara on right after getting them done This eyebrow is not doing it for me and then to set it all I use this Revlon photo ready prep set and refresh spray I don't know if it works, but it feels like it's working. Ooh, misty. And that is it for my makeup. I do my makeup so fast. I don't wear eyeliner. I, like, yeah, like I said, I don't wear mascara all the time. The, the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. But now we have got to get to work. I did my makeup super fast, so my hair is still drying, obviously. Now for the fun part, Dyson Air Up curling part. I use these two attachments. Um, one is for the hair that goes this way, one's for the hair that goes this way. Um, and you'll know because literally when you put it on, it starts blowing air if it's not for the right side. It's pretty, pretty smart. So we're gonna start with this side and I need to section off my hair just a tad. Look really crazy here for a little, but the things we do for beauty. I will be doing a more in-depth video in the future of like how I do my hair at home, like a blowout look at home. But for now, you guys can just watch. All right, the hair is done. This way texturizing hairspray. I like it because it's light and it's not like crunchy. Grand reveal, we're gonna take this down and I'm gonna curl the front pieces and I'm probably gonna put my hair back up, undecided yet. Go, nice and voluptuous, all right. Switch and do the other side. 
right. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna put my hair back in the rollers. That is some volume. Obviously it falls throughout the day, but I just love my Dyson Air Rips. And we're gonna use a little bit of this Jisoo Gisoo um, hair oil, literally just a tiny bit, uh, mainly on the ends. Just gonna give them that soft look. Yay, all right, hair is done. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I get the accessories. All right, you guys, here is the final fit. I'm so just, this is so crazy. It's like the last little game day, but I'm really happy with it. So this is the top, it's from Revolve. I'll link it below. It's like a little halter situation. I've got two buttons on, we've got Polly's, which is literally where we're going right now. And uh, Kirby Smart, our coach. I just think it's a fun time. That's what the back looks like. Skirt, like I said, is from ASOS. I decided to go with the white boots. They're really dirty, but I could probably clean them if I wanted. And then this is my little bag. No sunglasses because it's really cloudy out. So I'm editing this video right now and I know for a fact I filmed the last clip saying goodbye, I love you guys. I must have just not pressed record. So this is me saying goodbye, I love you guys. Can't believe that was my last game day get ready with me video. More videos to come obviously. Please subscribe if you're new here and you want to see new videos twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want more Get Ready With Me's. And I'll see you guys very soon for the next video.